Okie dokie. I hope this is working. I've been having connection problems, but I think it should be okay now. Hello everybody, welcome to our Sunday live guided meditation. Today we're going to be doing a meditation for transcendence. We're going to be using a vibration. We're going to be doing one of those vibrational meditation. And before we get started, let me just have a little technical check that everything is working well. I see a few people here. Fantastic. I'm so glad to be with you guys. Please let me know if the sound is okay or if I need to modify something. Because once we get into the meditation, that's it. <laughs> we can't change anything anymore. Hey, Kim. Hey, Melted Fro. Just want to say I love your channel. Your videos, meditations really help me out. Awesome. I'm so glad that these meditations are helpful. And while we get settled a little bit and wait until we can see that the connection is a little bit better. I hope that the connection is okay. And it should be, okay, it should be good now. I was getting some warnings on this YouTube thing. And now the stream status says excellent connection. So now it should be good. Phew. I think we're having a uh, little internet issues right now as we get into a new lockdown. People are staying at home. And so the internet is getting a little bit slow. But now it should be okay. And I think that the sound should also, let me check here, the sound should also be correct. I've prepared the vibration for you today. I've prepared a vibration with binaural beats. And before we get started on the meditation, I actually want to answer a question. I know we have a Q&A at the end of the meditation, but since we're here and just, I'm, <laughs> I'm actually buying time to see if the, uh, if everything's going to be okay with the connection here. I just wanted to answer a question about the binaural beats. What is a binaural beat? A binaural beat, the way it's it's designed is that you have a frequency in one ear and another frequency in another ear. And these frequencies have wavelengths, right? This is uh, like this for every frequency, every, every piece of sound is actually a wave. And um, by introducing a frequency that is very, very similar in each ear, but still a little bit different. It creates a little bit of a friction between the two frequencies. And that friction, this dissonance, if you will, uh, in, in sound engineering, you would call this like a detune, right? Uh, it creates a little flap, like a... And this is... These are the beats. It's actually the dissonance, the friction between these two very similar frequencies that create this little beat. And this is what we call uh, binaural beats. Now, depending on the, the, the length of these beats, so the difference between the two frequencies, whether it's 6 hertz or 8 hertz or 10 hertz, this is when you'll see uh, things such as uh, beta waves or delta waves. These are just names for the difference between the two, oops, I just hit the mic here, between the two frequencies. I hope this helps to understand a little bit what these binaural uh, beats mean. And so actually, um, to benefit from those binaural beat effects, it is important that you listen to these meditations in stereo. I recommend that you have a headphones or some earplugs, um, some earphones, sorry, some headphones, some stereo headphones. I guess all headphones are stereo in 2021. At least I hope so. Uh, but this, I hope, answers a few questions. Great sound, says William. Awesome. Highlight of my week. I'm so glad. Uh, and so now that I can see that the connection is still excellent, as it says here, I think we're ready to get started for the meditation. And so... Settling in our seats. Now you may meditate either sitting on the floor on a yoga block directly on a meditation uh, pillow, but you can also meditate on a chair on the edge of your bed, wherever it's comfortable and wherever you're able to hold yourself 
with dignity to hold yourself as the best version of yourself so that you can experience being as the highest version of yourself right so psycho uh, physiology precedes psychology and so first you hold yourself and then you will act according to your posture right it's very difficult to act with power if you're like this you know you can't really act with power if you're like this and if your your body language but also your uh your your the sound of your voice if it's all like you know like if you want to be with power you have to stand and hold yourself with power and so imagine a string pulling you up from the top of your head If you're sitting in the chair, feet flat on the floor, noticing all the points of contact between your body and the ground, between your body and the earth. If it helps, you might want to take a few nice big deep breaths. prepare for the meditation with a nice exhalation of relief the tensions in your mind in your body and in your heart and so in a few short moments I'll start introducing a sound, this vibration, these binaural beats, if you will. And you'll put your attention, your focus, as gently, as effortlessly, as passively as possible on that vibration, putting it on the foreground of your mind. This vibration will be our guide, it will keep our mind busy, while we go beyond the thoughts, the ego, our concepts of life within us, around us, the concepts of who we are, so that you can experience that being, so that you can transcend your opinions of yourself to realize your true self. And by bypassing all of these learned concepts, such as time and space, you're able, for a brief moment at least, to experience here and now the present moment in its absolute. When thoughts come, we don't judge the thoughts. We don't try to actively eliminate the thoughts, for that creates more thoughts. We simply catch ourselves and go back as effortlessly as possible to the vibration, as passively and naturally as possible. The, the vibration will play and then I will fade it out. And once it is not there in your headphones, keep it there in your mind. Let it resonate for a few extra moments. Keep it alive. It doesn't have to be at the perfect pitch, but it has to be there. This is the challenging part of the meditation. So don't worry if it's a little bit difficult, if it's challenging, it will get better with practice. And so let's begin.
Ja, okay. Das ist jetzt kein gutes Bild, kein gutes Wissen, ich glaube, ich muss ihn rebauen. If your body feels like moving, then start moving gently with the extremities, maybe your fingers, maybe your toes, your wrists and ankles. If you feel ready, take a nice deep breath. Gently open your eyes. Look left. Look right. Look down. Take your time to notice the space that you're in, to get reacquainted with your senses, your natural abilities, your instincts. Notice around you what is new. Notice around you what is familiar. Notice the lights, the colors, the shapes, the shadows, the sounds. As you get used to the sound of my voice speaking to you here and now. And before we move on to our next activity, before we get up and continue with our routines, our habits, let us take an extra few moments here in, sp in the space of calm and stillness. Appreciate this energy that we have created together And before we finish, very important, we put our hands to our hearts. Either like this, in the praying position, whatever is more comfortable to you. We take a nice deep breath in through the nose. And on the exhalation, we project our love, gratitude and appreciation towards someone. It can be anybody that you choose. And if you wish, you can also visualize that person receiving your gift, receiving your energy, receiving your love and appreciation. And this is how we finish our meditation for today. Sometimes we start the meditation with a dedication, sometimes we end it. There are no rules. And thank you so much for meditating with me today. I appreciate your presence. I'm so honored to be part of your journey. So I hope you've enjoyed this session. Tomorrow, Monday, I will post a new meditation with, uh, again, some binaural beats. And I'll have a look at the chat before I let you all go to see if anybody has any questions. If you have any questions, now's the time. I'm going to stay here a little bit to answer them. And if you have more questions, hop on Instagram, for example. In Instagram is a good place where you can send me private messages and I'll answer your questions. Esteban, hello. Es Rabago, that was wonderful. Thank you for sharing. You're very welcome. Judy is here. I'm glad that you enjoy these meditations. So glad to have you here with us. And uh, what else did I want to say today? Nothing much, I guess. That's it. If you want to receive our weekly letters, it's completely free. You can visit my website, raphaelwriter.com. And I try to be regular. I always say that I'm kind of regular-ish. Um, uh, Wednesday on the 1st of December, I'm actually going to do a juice cleanse. I do this quite often. Sometimes I do three days, sometimes I do seven days, sometimes I do 30 days, sometimes I just fast. Th this is going to be a juice cleanse, so it's not going to be fasting because you nourish yourself, right? I'm going to do this for three days and I'm going to kind of blog about it on my Instagram channel. So if you're on Instagram, if you have Instagram, I'm not huge on social media, but sometimes it's fun to share things 
Uh, there I share some quotes also here and there. I show some behind the scenes. And so on the Instagram, I'll, I'll share with you a little bit about my juicing cleanse um, with a few recipes and so on. So that, that's going to be fun if you want to join us there. Morgan is here. You're very welcome. Marquita Dowell, thank you so much for this. You're very, very welcome. Osama Evans. Love from Ireland. Oh, I love Ireland. Such a beautiful place. I've been there quite a few times. Where have I been? I've been to I've been to Dublin. I've been to um Ennis. I've been on the west coast to the cliffs of Moher. I've been to um what is it called? Oh, I forgot now. It's been this, uh, such a long time. I've been to the north, to the north of Ireland also. Um, I've been to Derry. I've been to Cork. Uh, I've been quite uh, quite some places in Ireland. What a beautiful place. Chad, you're very welcome. Alice down the rabbit hole. <laughs> Thank you very much. This improved my afternoon. Well, I'm glad. Thank you for joining, Alice. Okay, guys, I guess that's that's all for us today. If you have any questions, um, you know, have a look, send me an email or write a comment here. Uh, come on Instagram if you want to see the, the juicing. It's really good to take all these beautiful fruits and vegetables. I made a huge order. We have these organic farmers that deliver directly here. So that, that's really nice uh, to do these things. Osama is in Dublin. Love the place. Such good music, nice pubs, such friendly people. I remember uh, I was actually doing some hikes in in Ireland and uh, j just walking, and <laughs> and people would constantly stop with their cars. This was, I guess, this was in the west. Uh, you know, like hop in. Uh, no, no, it's okay. We're uh, we're here to walk, and they were like, uh, "Ah, you're gonna get tired. Just come." And they would invite you at their place, at their farm, for for lunch, for dinner, and would go to the pub, and have a drink, a Guinness, and listen to some uh, traditional music and so on. People were so so friendly. It was absolutely incredible. It's really hard to walk because people constantly tell, "Ah, just hop on the car, hop on the truck, hop on the." the tractor or whatever it's 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 awesome you've been to many lovely places here yes new grangy no i've not been to new grangy i don't think so s rebecca says do you use a mantra no not anymore i used to i used to when i i used to practice transcendental meditation i don't anymore um and the the mantras were actually hindu deities there's like, uh, it depends when the teachers learn. There's about 12 to 16 of these mantras that they choose for your age group. Um, so I don't use a, like a mantra as, as we think of a mantra anymore. I do sometimes uh, use the Nam Nyoho Renge Kyo, which is um, on the lotus blossom, which is a very beautiful symbol of these this flower growing up in the mud. Um, and sometimes I just invent my own mantras we go over this in in the course actually if you've never seen my course uh transcendence and meditation i will link it in the description below with humming with different types of humming um and the creation of your own mantra it can be anything you know it can be a beautiful flower it can be thank you it can be love it can be anything that you want it can be turned into a mantra there's no magic mantras or anything like this uh, but usually I like to use vibrations uh, more than than words. Adam says good morning from New Zealand. Yes, Adam. I guess it's it's Monday already in New Zealand, so have a nice week, have a nice Monday. And that's it. I have nothing else to say, really. So I can sit there. And wait for a few more minutes if you guys have questions. Otherwise, here it's actually half past four in the p.m. So usually in the evening I have quite a, a good evening routine where I have a digital sunset. So I'll turn off my electronics. 
I'll spend some time with my with my family, have maybe a very light dinner. Uh, I practice intermittent fasting, so I don't eat after five. And then, uh, depending on the day, you know, I'll I'll relax, read, um, do any kind of work that is not on the computer. Maybe I'll do an extra little meditation or yoga session. And um, in the good days, I go out for a walk in nature, enjoy the, the, the evening, maybe have a nice warm bath with some Epsom salts, you know, get some magnesium in there and calm down. And I go to bed quite early because I, I get up really early. So that's my evening routine. And I always say it's my morning routine because the morning always starts the evening before. If you want to have a good morning, you have to have a good evening with a good night's sleep. And I track my sleep with, with this little guy. This is the Aura Ring 2. I've ordered the Aura Ring 3 that will come uh, Wednesday, I guess. So I'm looking forward to that, and I'll, I'll maybe I'll share with you um, all of these things because they're they're fun gadgets. They're just gadgets. They're not important. You don't need them, that's for sure. But they're fun to track certain statistics. And when we do these meditations, actually, there's this uh, tracking that you can do. I didn't do it now, especially not when I do it live. But you can kind of track your vitals in real time with a ring. So. It tracks the your skin temperature going up and down. It tracks your HRV going up and down, your heart rate variability. It tracks um, the temperature, I said, ready your heart rate, of course. Um, and uh, in the new one, it'll track your oxygen levels. So that, that's also kind of fun. And it's just to geek around uh, and to play around. It's nothing, <laughs> nothing important. These are not things that we need. So don't feel that you need to go and buy this. No, no, no. We don't need anything. We need to be able to sit. We need to be able to sit in silence, to be able to sit in peace, to create the peace within ourselves, to express our vibrant, our vibrancy, uh, and to, uh, you know, live with a good soul, with eudaimonia. So that's all we really need to make good decisions according to our values, according to our va virtues, day after day, moment after moment. All the rest is just sprinkles of <laughs> uh, useless but fun things. Okay, guys, that's it for me today. As I said, join me on Instagram because Wednesday I'm going to start my juicing cleanse and uh, I'll have fun sharing it with you. And tomorrow I'll post a new meditation. On In, ja in January, we're going to start doing those challenges. First challenge will be like a basic meditation for beginner challenge february we'll have a self-love challenge we'll have a breathing challenge we'll have all sorts of different meditation challenge with different vib uh, vibrations with different binaural beats and so on so looking forward to all of this and yeah that's it thanks guys thank you so much for joining me i'm honored and i'm so grateful to be part of your journey so thank you for showing up here on the channel or on the podcast all the time and uh gifting me with your presence for these meditations. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.